right, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally here. This is the Resident Evil 3 Remake Demo. And you can already see Nemesis there in all his glory. So, I mean, look, y'all already know what this is. We're not going to waste no time. Let's do the damn thing. Let's do this. All right, so obviously... Okay, hold on. Go to my options real quick. Okay, control settings... Okay, so it looks like it's pretty much the same control system we had with uh, RE2. And since this is just the demo, I'm going to go ahead and turn Aim Assist on. Okay. And... Let me make sure... Okay, good. Subtitles are on. Display. Okay, hold on. We're going to make the reticle green, just because I know there might be some bright uh, areas we might be going to, so making it white wouldn't be a good idea, and for that same reason, I don't think making it red is a good idea either, so let's go ahead and just make it green, just to be safe. Uh, the dot siding, we're going to leave that red, though, just because it, it, it needs to be, you know what I mean, so. Everything else, though, I think we're good. All right. Nemesis, baby. Let's do this. The final game may differ from this demo. You cannot see or load your game in this demo. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Hey, Captain. So Finally, clearly we're starting a little out. ways into the game. By this point, Jill has already met Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Stars. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. <laughs> right. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. I absolutely yes. love Carlos's well, screen design. We are doing because he was such can. a stereotypical, we can get this like Hispanic moving, cliche in the original. Here, though, survivors. the dude looks like a freaking badass. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. I'm in. But I am on their side. Not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. <laughs> wow, Jill is such a smartass. All right, we have movement. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. Okay. But first I want to take a look around and see if there's any supplies here. Shit, Captain. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I would miss. <laughs> I would see if the game would actually let me do that, but I'm not going to. I don't want to waste the ammo. Okay. <laughs> uh, they're advertising their own game in the demo. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Alright. If you run out of ammo, your gun 
this is useless as a wet fart. Okay, good, good. So that's, so that's just reminding us about uh, how the ammo system works, and good, we've already got some. Excellent. Alright. Go ahead and reload. And let's see, can I go out this way? Yes, I can. Alright. And let me go ahead and check. Alright, we'll equip the knife, just in case. Oh. Okay, alright. And that way we can just switch to it. That's great, I love, that's great. So now we can just straight up, uh... You can just straight up equip uh, a knife to one of your uh, weapon slots, that's great. It's already a good addition. I'm glad they had it. They added that. Hmm. More. That's funny. All right. I'm taking this nice and easy. This is obviously my first time playing this, and I just want to make sure. I miss, I'm sure I'm going to miss some stuff regardless, but I would like to get as many things and catch as many things as I can, so. Oh, am I not supposed to go that way? Alright. Maybe I was. Maybe there was somewhere back here I'm supposed to go then. Uh, but let's go ahead and check. Ah, yeah, yeah. I think I was supposed to go up here. Okay. That's cool. Got more of these things. You know, I I'm glad Capcom is excited to finally release this, but I, th I think they could lay off the uh, the self-promotion there within their own game. Or the demo, I guess. I mean, the demo itself, I think, works as a good advertisement anyways. Yeah, this is some tabloid stuff. We can look at all that later. Okay. Alright. Upside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tank's got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Okay, so we need to get the... So we need to get the, uh... Power to the, to the uh, subway station back on. And here we have the boxes from Resident Evil 7, and if, and assuming they work there, that means... Yep. Alright, red herb. And we have a green herb right here, so y'all know what that means. Full heal item, baby. Excellent. Another green herb. Good to have, good to have. And then we have some gunpowder. Alright, let's go ahead and combine these. I seriously doubt the game is going to give us a shotgun this early, so I don't mind going ahead and just using both of them to make some more handgun ammo. Especially since uh, we only have, let's see, we have 15, 22, so that gives us two full rounds plus seven extras. Which sounds like a lot, but, I mean... Okay. Okay, and this is talking about, uh, healing items, which... Ah, and here's the item box, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put the green herb away. And we'll keep everything else. tower. That just looks like a puzzle. So I'm sure we'll be coming back to that eventually. Okay. 
and uh, let me see okay good map and looks like it pretty much works the same way as it did in the uh, in RE2 and and good the item box is highlighted so if I need to make a run for the item box or something we should be good to go train moving all right our first zombie ah right. I have not played re2 in a while I'm a little rusty so that one that one's on me that's totally my fault Good, more ammo. Okay. I love this, just the power that Jill's gun has. Like, it, it almost feels about as powerful as Leon's lightning hawk. gonna try it I wanted to uh I wanted to slash it with my knife okay we still got plenty of bullets regardless so Carlos I've reached the main avenue which way do I go see a big transmission tower that's the substation you have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there you mean the alley that's on fire maybe surely Tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Fuck you. <laughs> and see, that that's that right there, that's totally fine. Because Carlos was constantly flirting with Jill in the original two. But here it's I don't want to say more subtle, because that's not really the right word, but it's more appropriate. Gotta put this out. Okay, so we probably need to look for that, uh, valve that we got in the sewers from the last game. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright, this is fine. I got something for y'all. Burn, baby! Now, okay, we need to find that lever thing. Okay. Don't necessarily want to waste all of my ammo to try and kill them. In truth, I really have no idea where I'm going. I'm just looking around. sure what that means, but... Oh, good, more gunpowder. 
You know what? Hang on. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to those. We've still got quite a bit of ammo as it is. So... I'm going to wait. I'm going to go ahead and hold off before I combine those. Oh! Dude just came out of freaking nowhere. That's right, back on up. Okay. Okay, better hurry before he gets up. Alright. There we go. This is a total of 28 spares and plus a full clip. So we basically got two full clips aside from the one we already have. So that's good. Alright, so we didn't find anything in there. I mean we got a few good we got a few useful resources, but that's about it. Okay. Uh let's try it here. Okay, so we did need that, we needed the fire hose, I see. And... Hold on, what's in here? Subway employees memo. Got a shotgun. So it looks like we will be getting a shotgun at some point. So we need bolt cutters for that. Offices. Try not to pick up any needless items for a minute. We've got plenty of ammo. But if we find bolt cutters, I'll definitely be grabbing those. And then we can just go back to grab the shotgun. Okay. shining over there. But that's fine. Alright, then I think we need to go back for something.
Whoa! Didn't even see that guy. that full heal for a zombie bite. I kind of wish I had, uh... Okay. Oh, jeez. something real quick. I was just trying to look something up real quick. I think... not able to get in here. This is that, uh, that diner where Nemesis shows up. That's actually his name. some of these. Okay. Let's put that there. Okay. Thank you.
need to get back to we need to get back to where that shotgun was. Oh, there's some high grade gunpowder over there. And a safe. So is that where we need to go? me or are these zombies like way stronger than they were in RE2? I, I feel like they are I feel like they're stronger. so many of them and I feel like they're quicker.
So we're over here, so we need to keep going straight. Are you kidding me? Okay, now. We need to go to the right. Yeah, that's right, I remember it was down this way. Anyway, let's take this sucker for a spin. running. Woo. We gotta go, we gotta go. Did this dude just run in front of- oh my god. Ah. Nemesis, bro, I ain't got time for you. Okay, uh, where are we going? Where are we going? We need to go- we need to go left. Yes, 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 over here. This is where we need to go. minutes okay no deaths that's good there were 20 of those dolls wow I only found two of them <sighs> well short but sweet is what I would say that was still very very good I'd say uh, <laughs> this just has me more excited for the uh, for the full game I've already got my copy pre-ordered uh, I even have the uh, auto download set up so April 3rd it will at midnight, it will start automatically uh, downloading onto my uh, onto my PS4. So that was wow. That was really good. That was really good. Uh, I expected Nemesis to be up to play a bit of a bigger role, a bit of a bigger presence. But then again, it is just the demo, so it's fine. There's so many. I know. <laughs> Brad. Oh my God. No! 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 They gotta get through. What the? Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. What was that? Togu! Kendo. Kendo? You're all right to stretch. Stop and do what? I got your back. Go. Go! Clock sticky. You better hunt. Sorry. Marvin. Look out! Let's do this. Whew. 
Oh man, this is gonna be good. <laughs> uh, go to the product page first game. No, I've already purchased it, but thank you. <laughs> man, that was that was really good. I I felt like I'm I'm glad I've already played through RE2 because I feel like just being at home with the control scheme and the way everything works, I I feel like I had um I feel like I was just so at home with this. It almost feels like this could just be like an expansion of RE2, honestly. Although graphically it does look a little bit better, and uh, the environments I think are slightly better designed overall too. Uh, and Nemesis, first of all, he moves way quicker than Mr. X ever did, and he's much more aggressive as well. So, it'll definitely be interesting having to learn how to maneuver around this guy. It was already it was already tough learning how to maneuver with Mr. X. Uh, now we're going to have to learn how to do it again with this guy. So, but anyways, that was really good. Uh, as I said, I'm already super psyched for this game. Definitely going to be playing it on the channel as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, I think that's all uh, that's, I think that's all she wrote for this for the Resident Evil 3 remake demo. I hope you all enjoyed watching me go through this. So, uh, I think that's, I think that's, I think we're going to go ahead and just end it off there, and, uh, I'm actually getting kind of hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and eat. So, we're going to go ahead and end, this, end things off here. This is Mr. Effect Films signing off. I will see you guys later, and until next time, peace on out. Stars. <laughs>